wealthy Cleveland Metropolitan School District is out about $70,000 after thieves got away with 35 catalytic converters swiped off of buses parked at its bus depot over the weekend. And the number of similar thefts is increasing nationwide. Brandon Simmons has details of a local lawmaker's plan to stop it. Cleveland schools, the latest victim of a crime rising across the country. Late Sunday night, thieves cut a hole through a fence, stealing 35 catalytic converters from buses parked at the district's depot, a crime police across the region struggle to deal with. It's just a theft that um, they can do quickly, easily. They use a sawzall, they cut the converter off, and they're gone within a matter of minutes. Just weeks ago, three were taken from city cars parked in front of Streetsboro City Hall, two more from the Parks and Rec Department, bringing the total to 12 since July in that city alone. It costs probably between one to three thousand dollars in order to replace a converter on a vehicle. Across the country, State Farm Insurance reported a 293 percent increase in claims the first half of this year compared to the end of last year. Police are busting theft rings with stolen parts like this one in Kentucky, but most thieves get away. It's a very, very expensive problem, and I know it's hurting businesses and Ohioans. Ohio State Representative Bob Young has been a victim, too, and now he has a plan that may stop thieves from selling the valuable parts to scrappers for a quick buck. For every converter they have, they're going to have to take a picture of it, and they're going to have to take a picture of the person that, where it came from. Uh, they're going to have to retain those records. House Bill 408 has more than 21 co-sponsors. It would require scrappers verify a person owns the catalytic converter using the car's title or repair records and also imposes fines for scrappers who break the rules and take in stolen parts. No one wants to create additional regulations for businesses, but I, I feel that these businesses are creating a market for these thieves. But until then, police say keep an eye out for would-be thieves. Especially someone coming out from underneath the car um, to give the police a call. And, uh, you know, it's better for us to come out and check it and find out it was nothing. Now, I do want to add police departments around Northeast Ohio are sharing information to keep track of thieves. And Representative Young admits House Bill 408 won't get rid of the problem altogether, but says if it stops some criminals, Russ, that's progress. He hopes to get the bill signed into law by summer. Okay, Brandon Simmons, thank you.